All right, welcome, welcome all. Sergeant Fury here. Um, this is going to be a little tutorial on um, Battleground. Um, some things that will help you and how to do early level. This is an early level character. He just now, you can't play uh, Battleground until level 10. Um, he's only got one bar at the moment. So you want to, you want to, if you look at my bar down here at the bottom, you want to stack him with your best stats of what you want what you're going to be this guy is a, a magic templar so all of his all of his um where's it at all of his skills going to go into magic so we want to go over you want to get out there and find yourself battle master reeves this guy here he's in a couple different cities but then there's people hanging around him right here these three people well, you want to find the one, this lady here, she sells stuff, especially good food. You got to play a couple to get some some of these points um, to get whatever whatever you want. This is something I would use, health and stamina. That's because I'm putting, I'm putting all my skill into magic. So I need to help with my health and stamina to buff that up. Um, but early characters, you also get a lot of stuff. Um, and your daily stuff. See, so I have these crown fortifying meals. These will be good until they're gone. I'll use those up. And if you have any crown experience controls, you always want to try to use some of them while you're playing. That'll that'll jack up your, uh, your skill levels. Um, but that's one of the tips I wanted to... To hit you with um, and then we're just gonna go ahead <clears throat> you go to the little group thing a bunch of groupy people and click on battlefield and here's the if we if I win a match this is my what I'll get that that happened pretty quick which is cool um, some things I got to say about early um, try to stay with your team try to stay with a higher um, level person. Um, okay, looks like we're fighting. Now we want to just stay here and the, the action's going to come to us here in a minute. Um, because there's the guy and he's got the ball. Uh, it's, it's good if you carry... You try to use all your good skills on him. Try to stay out of the way. Yeah, I got him. Then we're gonna go for the ball. I probably won't last very long because I'm very low level character. And that ball will, I mean, I just don't have the, I just don't have the skill yet. But, I helped out. Um, we're winning, it looks like, at the moment. But you want to try to stay with your people. Um, this guy got the ball back and he's hiding where he should be hiding, underneath our spawn. And see, I got, uh... I don't have a lot of magic because... And I'll try to use my magic. I'm in a fight I shouldn't have jumped into.
Oh. All right, we got her. I've done, I've done, used up all my magic because I was just slinging it everywhere. My guy's got it again. So we want to go with him. You want to stay with your... You want to stay with your group. And if you have a, if you have a, a, a health um, skill, use it. Help your people stay alive when you're low level. Probably won't last very long, but I'm just gonna throw magic until he kills me. See, the ball will kill you too, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, just helping out. See the chaos ball. If you look at the middle of that death recap, the chaos ball just totally creamed me. <laughs> um, but always try to stay in your group. See, there's three of my group right here. We're going to run with them and try to stay with them. They dropped the ball! We need that ball! We must get the ball! Alright, where's my people at? I got off track. See, I don't have a lot of magic. I'm sort of not playing like I should be playing. Um, you should be. I should be chasing the ball. He's pissed off. One thing you can always count on: that ball will kill him. Just about got him. See, his his health is like right down to the end. <laughs> All right, where's the? What else was I gonna say about a uh, early game? Um, get that ball or get off the field. I think I I was saying if you have uh, the ability to to heal, heal your heal your people. You'll get a lot of points out of that. We're so close now! See, I'll get score off of... I'll get score from that from healing him. Plus, that ball's killing him every second. I just dropped that Nova ball on him. That does help me. It slows people down. And my people can use some of its ability. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I get mad at you when you keep hammering them. <laughs> yep, the basic thing I can say with low level, eat some good food. Get all your skills up and try to stay with your group and try to fight under your spawn. 
Try not to be running clean across the map to fight. Let them run across the map to fight. Um, that'd be some of my biggest things. Sometimes I have trouble with that F key. I didn't do bad for level 13. <clears throat> I wasn't the worst on our team. But that's what I would say, um, um, try to do. Try to, if you can heal, try to heal your people. If you don't have any healing skills, I might think about getting some to help level you up a little faster. Um, it's an easy thing to score with. Um, try to get involved with the game. If you're chasing a ball, go get it. If you're if you're capturing sites, um, go get them. You know, if you're trying to get that relic, you can stay and guard the relic, or you can go after a relic. Um, but that'd be some of the tips I would give on. Um, low level and you get some pretty good you get some pretty good um, XP from uh, playing battleground that's how I like to XP a character up see I got a level out of that matter of fact I was in level 13 and a half I, I actually got one and a half well I got two levels out of that game that's pretty good I mean, I actually can actually put in my other bar now for this character, which he's he's got a he's going to be using a bow, which is pretty a lot. And then don't forget, you'll get you'll win stuff. Um, so make sure you you um, go into your mail and pick all that stuff up. And you got a bunch of rewards that you can open. Um, and you'll get equipment. Um, right now I have on the, the Ashen Armor. This is this is the character I started out leveling up on the, the, the first couple videos I did. And he's got all training gear on that I made with my good with my other character. It's level 50 now. So I made all I made him a set of five, um, the, the light armor, he's got light armor all the way across the board for the simple fact my armor is light armor and I get bonuses, I get these bonuses, grace, evocation, spell warding, prodigy, and concentration and some of them are pretty good and I'll probably put m most of my points into these passive abilities. Passive abilities you don't have to think about. They just work in the background. Um, but if you see this one here, it says I get my curse, current bonus is 12.5%. Um, that's pretty good for each piece of light armor. And this one here is my spell critical. And here's your spell critical right here. You want this to be high. As high as you can get it. Um, that's that's how you do, that's how you do damage. Critical resistance is another one you want to work on. You can get gear to help with that. So pay attention to these. When you're putting on gear, if you hover over it, you can look over here and watch. It'll show what's red and what's yellow. It'll show you what this piece of armor will do. I can't wear it because that piece of armor right there is heavy. But you just have to go through those a little at a time to see what they are. Um, see what I got with this. I got a mall and some other stuff. I mean all of them are all these rewards. Um, there's a heavy gauntlet. It just depends on what kind of armor you want. And all of them have magicians tend to use light armor because there's a lot more um, passive spells for that. I think. I don't use a lot of heavy armor. 
But that being said, thanks for watching.